Week zero in section one football is in the books. It was a good week. We had some tough non-section losses uh, for some of our teams, but overall, big wins by Somers beating Rambo, New Jersey, and of course, Rye taking down Farrell. They are part of our first five stars of the 2024 football season. We start in no particular order, but our number one star goes to number one. That is Tyler Mariscott of Byron Hills. Man, was he good, and he was good in all phases of the game. We saw him as a receiver, makes an incredible adjustment for a touchdown catch on the opening drive, set a real tone for Byron Hills and then went over Putt Valley. Later in the game, he comes up as a defensive player, picks up a fumble, returns it for a touchdown. He was good in the return game, but he was really good as a running back when they put him at the Wildcat. That was the deciding factor in this game. They beat Putt Valley 22-21. Now our number two is our man Dean Palazzolo from Somers. And, and Dean last year, the breakout star, only a sophomore, the speedster, I think what we saw on Friday night is that he really might be on his way to becoming a big time recruit from this area. As a wide receiver, he was unstoppable for, against Ramapo. They had to change their whole defense around, double team him in the second half and limited to him. But he still had eight catches, 174 yards, two touchdowns in that 40-35 win over Ramapo, New Jersey. Epic victory for Somers as they start off 1-0. and oh. My next guy, I'm going to give our number three star to Tyler Galante of Yorktown. It was tough between Caden Gonzalez and Tyler Galante. Caden Gonzalez, we knew how great he was. He threw four touchdowns in this win for Yorktown as they beat Harrison, a rematch of last year's playoffs. But let me have Tyler Galante. Mr. Flip It at the media day and uh, doing the backflip on camera was pretty awesome. But he was even better on Saturday. He had nine catches, 171 yards, three touchdowns in the win over Harrison. Really impressive effort for Yorktown. We could have given this, as he said, to Gonzalez. Could have given it to the offensive line for the way they protected Gonzalez. But overall, Galanti, he gets our third star. Our fourth star, we give it to our man, Boo Miller of Rye. And I will tell you this, Carson Miller was so good in this game, despite this heavy pressure from Monsignor Farrell. I wanna, first, I'm going to tell you this. This might be the biggest win that I've seen from Rye outside of the postseason game and outside of beating Harrison maybe in 20 years. This is a, as impressive a lineup and beat the team across from you type win that they had. To beat Farrell, a triple A team in the Catholic League, really impressive. Miller, 24-33 passing, 281 yards, a couple touchdowns, he ran for 50 yards and a touchdown. Him and Jake Kessner have this incredible connection that I don't know who's gonna stop them. They're on a collision course right now with Somers, possibly in the Class A championship. It's only week zero, let's not get too far ahead. Our next star, is going to be Connor Bryce. Our number five star goes to the man who had five touchdowns for Tuckahoe in this game, all on the ground. 13 carries, 175 yards, five touchdowns, a 35-14 win over Chester of Section 9. Old rivals of Tuckahoe in the state playoffs all those years. Uh, Tuckahoe starts off at 1-0. Who are your stars? Hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram. Find me, let me know. Who did I miss? See you next week.